Seventh grade math, lesson 1.1c, adding integers with a common sign. Integers with a common sign are negative and positive whole numbers that have like signs. They will have the same sign as each other. So here we have like signs. We have a negative 5 being added to a negative 3. Both add-ins are negative. The sum is negative. Here we have like signs. Both add-ins are positive. A positive 5 and a positive 3. The sum is positive. We learned last year in sixth grade about absolute value. It's the distance from zero on a number line. The absolute value of negative three is three. It's three jumps from zero. Negative three is three jumps from zero, so its absolute value is three. To add integers with the same sign, we add the absolute values of the integers and use the sign of the integers for the sum. We use the sign of the integers. We have a positive 7 and a positive 2. That means the sum is going to be a positive. The absolute value of 7 is 7. It's 7 jumps from 0. The absolute value of 2 is 2. We add these together and use the sign of the add-ins, and they're both positive, so we have a positive 9. Here we've got a negative 7 plus a negative 2. The absolute value of negative 7 is 7. It's 7 jumps from 0. And the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. It's 2 jumps from 0. We use the like signs of the add-ins for the sum. 7 and 2 is 9, and they both have a negative sign, so the sum is negative. Here it's telling us to add negative 8 plus negative 3. The signs of both integers are the same. We find the absolute value of each addend. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8. It's 8 jumps from 0. And the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. It's 3 jumps from 0. We find the sum of the absolute values. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. And then we use the like signs of the original add-ins to write the sum. They were both negative, so our sum is negative. We have negative 11. The commutative property of addition states that two or more numbers can be added in any order without changing the sum. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9, and 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. It doesn't matter the order. Well, this property also applies to negative integers. Negative 5 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 9, and negative 4 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 9. The absolute values would be 5 plus 4. That's a 9. They both have a negative sign, so the sum has a negative sign. Remember, the commutative property only works for addition or multiplication. It does not work for subtraction or division. We can't just switch around the numbers. But we can with addition and multiplication and get the same answer. On a number line, as we move to the right, the numbers become greater in value. And as we move to the left, the numbers become less in value. Negative 8 is less than negative 3, and this negative 8 is less than negative 5, because it's farther left on the number line. We have two integers, negative 3 and negative 5. We're adding them together. They're equal to negative 8. So this means the sum, this negative 8 of these negative integers is less than the value of either of the integers. This negative 8 is less than either of these integers because it's farther to the left on the number line. Negative 8 is less than negative 3, and negative 8 is less than negative 5. Here's a number line, and we have a point drawn on negative 7. The numbers to the left are less than negative 7. We can write the sum of two integers that will have a value less than negative 7. 
This means the sum of the two integers will be farther left than negative 7 on a number line. Anything with a sum that goes in this direction will be less than negative 7. So we could do negative 5 plus negative 3. That's a negative 8. We could do negative 5 plus negative 4. That's a negative 9. We could even do five, negative 5 plus negative 5. That's a negative 10. Any one of these will be less than negative 7 because it's farther to the left on the number line than the negative 7. We could even do negative 30 plus negative 20. That's negative 50. That would be way over here on the number line, wouldn't it? That would be less than negative 7. Negative 5 and positive 5 are opposites. Opposites are the same distance from 0, so they have the same absolute value. Negative 5 and 5 are both 5 jumps from 0. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5, and the absolute value of positive 5 is 5. They are opposites of each other. So there's a pattern for the signs when adding integers with like signs, common signs. If we have a positive and a positive, the sum will be positive. If we have a negative and a negative, the sum will be a negative. Just make sure that negative sums have a negative sign. Our next lesson is going to be 1.2a. We're going to learn about adding integers with different signs on a number line. So remember, as the numbers on the number line move to the left, they become less. And as the numbers move to the right on a number line, they become greater in value. I hope you have a wonderful day and are doing well, and I hope you'll join me for the next lesson. Bye.